Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew with Let's Talk Tools. Just wanted to... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew with Let's Talk Tools. This is video number two and what hopefully will be second video out of a ton of videos in this channel. Uh, today we're going to be going over the 18 volt crown stapler by Ryobi. Um, you know, we'll go kind of do a, we're going to do a review of the tool. Ryobi didn't send this to me or anything. They're not, I'm not sponsored by Ryobi. So this is going to be a, um, an honest review on this uh, crown stapler. You know, should you go out and buy it? Can you get by with just this uh, regular stapler that isn't battery powered? Um, but yeah, so we've got a rabbit hedge back here. We did some work on that, so I'll show you some footage from that. And by the end of this, hopefully you'll be able to make a decision on if you should go out and buy this stapler. All right guys, let's bring you in close so we can go over the specs and then get to that rabbit hedge footage. All right guys, so now that we brought you in close, let's kind of go over some of the features that are on this crown stapler. All right, so up here on the top, you're gonna have this gauge that's going to show you. Sorry, let's get that to focus. All right, there. That gauge is going to show you how deep you're going to be driving those staples. So you have a minimum and a maximum. And then this dial right here, when you turn that, it'll adjust that depth that you'll be driving these staples. So turn it to the left, and it'll decrease the amount of the depth that you drive that staple. Turn it to the right and it'll adjust as you turn. All right, so this is also going to, you can see right there, you can use one quarter inch staples all the way up to nine sixteenths of an inch um, in length of the staples that this device will drive. And right here, so this is the model number, we're looking at model P317. And there's also some information here on the fastener size. You can use it uses T50 style um, T50 style staples, um, and you can buy those pretty much any one of your bit major box stores. Um, and then right there also it tells you the length of the fasteners. You can use a minimum of a quarter inch to a maximum of nine sixteenths of an inch. All right, there is also. A belt clip that is included in the box so if you are someone who prefers to just carry that around put that belt clip on and you can hang it on you while you're going around doing your doing your task all right and so the other feature on here is this onboard storage for this um, helping I guess uh, clip so one side of this clip is going to be so that you can hold down, you know, screens or fabrics so that way they're not moving around too much when you're trying to staple. And then on the other side is going to be so that you can hold down um, cables and wires just so that way you know for sure that you're not going to be driving that staple directly into those wires and causing any kind of damage. On here the housing is those plastic tabs and then on the bottom part if you can see there's metal. So putting this on and off over time would eventually wor would have worn out that plastic and then you wouldn't really be able to hold this on the unit. But with that metal, those metal tabs being at the bottom, they're going to hold up a lot longer. You're not going to really have to worry about losing this piece in case you're not using it. And so, yeah, if you're not going to be using it, it has a little section right here where it says store. You pull it back and neither of those are going to be actually active over the edge of that so it won't get in your way when you're driving staples. And then if you're going to use one of them, just place it over like that and now you've got it set up so that you can fasten screens and uh, you know, uh, landscape fabric, stuff like that. And then same thing, flip it over. And now you're ready to fasten cables and wires. All right, guys. So that's the Ryobi 18 volt crown stapler. Now let's go ahead and get to that rabbit hutch footage. 
All right, guys, so like I said, this is the uh, Ryobi 18 volt stapler. Um, we've already kind of been over these specs. It's gonna do staples that are a quarter inch in length up to 9 sixteenths of an inch in length. And there is that information right there. We've got our four amp hour battery from the 2021 Ryobi Days promotion. Um, yeah. It is fully charged. You can see right there from the LED indicator. Um, there's been lots of complaints, I guess, with these batteries because they don't have any of that rubber overmolding in the bottom that'll kind of help as, I guess, shock absorption. But um, I'm not really too rough with my tools, so that doesn't really seem to be an issue for me. I mean, I like the new design. I, I like how they look. But let me just kind of go over real quick how to load the staples. So... On the tool here, there's this little pin to engage. We'll pull this out, and the staples, we're using 3 8 inch staples. Let's get some of these old ones out. And all we're going to do is slide these in. Slide the mechanism back in place until it clicks. Let's make sure we get that right. So let's see right here. And it's engaged. All right, so here's our rabbit hutch. This is actually the first, I guess, woodworking project you could say we did here at home. And this is actually the project that pushed us to getting some Ryobi tools. But let me try and set you guys up. Um, it's a little hard to see, but in the very back of the hutch right there, that fencing in the back side is coming loose. Uh, so if the rabbit really wanted to, she could push her way through that opening on the bottom of the hutch. So we're just gonna try and do a little repair on that. We're probably gonna have to move the hutch some, but let's see what we can do. So let me... All right, so let's come back here. And right here, you can see that that fencing is starting to come up a bit. So, all we're going to do is we'll compress this pin and just like that. Let's go ahead and do that again. That easy few more just to make sure that these rabbits don't go anywhere okay. all right and so like I said using this stapler has made stuff go almost three times as fast just all right guys so like I said if you're a smaller person let me move out of the Sun um, Using those other outside outdoor staplers, your hands have to be kind of kind of wide gripped. Um, so a smaller person is going to have a little bit more trouble. But this me being, I'm going to take the battery out so we can show you. This being that all you have to do is push this little black pin in and pull the trigger, makes stuff so much easier. Uh, I didn't actually think I'd ever buy a battery powered stapler until. I guess it was last year, and it was during Ryobi days, the stapler was part of the promotion where you uh, would buy the two battery pack for $99 and you get the free tool. Um, I saw this and I was like, let's give it a try, because we were making a whole bunch of garden beds last year, and my wife was helping me out with the um, landscaping fabric, and we've got at the time had three kids and so it was kind of hard to find time to actually be able to come outside and do some work so we needed anything that would even shave off a few seconds of our our workload while we were out here with the kids you know napping and stuff so this tool has come in handy um, I don't regret buying it and I would highly recommend this tool to anyone who's gonna do any kind in, remotely any 
decent amount of stapling. Um, I don't know about you, but around Christmas time, growing up, the way we used to put up lights on our house is we would actually staple them to the uh, to the fascia of the house, and um, that kind of was tedious. I remember. Uh, growing up and having to use that stapler in awkward positions. So something like this I can see really coming in handy for stuff like that. But yeah, uh, so this is, like I said, the Ryobi 18 volt stapler. Um, model number again is P317. And again... Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your likes, your comments. Um, even consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. Hit that bell notification at the bottom so you can get notified every time that I release new videos. We've got another video coming out next Sunday and we're really excited for it. Making these videos these past few weeks has been quite a journey. Um, you know, I've been excited to get more content recorded, been getting to spend more time editing videos. Um, it's just been a real great experience overall. I'm really excited that I get to do this. So hopefully you guys like what I'm doing. And like I said before, comment down at the bottom if there's anything else you want to see me do. If there's any kind of, you know, constructive criticism you have for me, I'm all ears. Uh, not going to get any better by just going off of what I think is great. Uh, so like I said, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.